Kara is a sophomore student here at Early College High School, and she's an amazing young lady. Um, Tara is able differently, but what I love most about her is that she does not allow that to define who she is. Um, I love the fact that she's a self-advocate, she's aware of what she needs, and she's not afraid to um, ask for those things, nor does she apologize if she needs those things. And I love the fact that her outlook is just so positive. I mean, she's got a very mature attitude. Um, if you ever get the opportunity to engage in a conversation with her, you're just blown away by the fact that um, she's just incredibly mature in the way she sees things and understands and process. And she's great at giving advice, too. She was nominated, one, because of the fact that she is an early college high school student who is committed to being a good student. Um, she cares about her grades and she doesn't make excuses for herself. If she ever needs to be out because of a medical reason, she is still on top of her assignments. Um, she wants to do well and she has a goal for herself and she's willing to put in the work. And for me, that was important and I wanted to um, acknowledge her by nominating her for this award. She demonstrates leadership in this building by the simple fact that she tries to model what she expects. Um, she's kind to others. Um, she is not afraid to befriend others if she sees someone sitting alone or if she sees someone quiet. She'll go over and get to know them and talk to them. And again, she's an advocate. Like I said, if she sees something that's not being done right to someone, she will speak up for herself, but she'll also speak up for them as well. And to me, those are qualities of a leader. As I said earlier, she, you know, she is able differently and like she, it'd be a perfect opportunity for her to make excuses. You know, I can't do this, I can't do that, or I need this, or I, I'm not able. She doesn't, she doesn't use that as an excuse. She's willing to go above and beyond. Um, like I said, um, she not only cares for herself, but she cares for others. And she's an advocate for everyone to be treated right and to be treated fairly. And I think, again, those are qualities that make a student a good leader.